Okay, folks, if you checked out my previous video, you will know that DJI have just released the latest firmware update for their cracking FPV Avata 2 drone. But today I'm going to be showing you how you can actually get this update for yourself. And this video should ring true for any future updates that they put out in terms of the firmware, either for the drone or for any of the accessories you have connected to the drone. So in order to apply this update, you are going to need your phone with the DJI Fly app installed. I'm using my Samsung Galaxy phone, but this will work with iOS devices as well. You will of course need your drone and the accessories, along with a USB-C to USB-C cable. Although I guess if you're using an older iPhone, that will be a USB-C to lightning cable. And so first off, I'm just gonna open up the DJI Fly app and then begin turning everything on. So I'll make sure the accessories are turned on. So there's my RC Motion 3 controller. Turn on the goggles. And then finally, we'll turn on the drone. And once everything's booted up, I'll just wait a few seconds for that and connect it. We're going to go ahead and plug the USB-C cable into the bottom of the goggles there. And then we're going to plug the other end into my phone. Now, it is important to make sure you are on a Wi-Fi connection as well at this point so that you can actually download the update. And from the app, once everything's connected, it should actually pop up that a firmware update is available. All you need to do is accept that update and it will download and install. Make sure everything has plenty of charge and just leave it to do its thing. Now, if for some reason it doesn't come with the automatic pop-up to install the update, then it's still very simple. From the app, all you need to do is tap on profile, scroll down to settings, and then you can see we have the firmware update. Just simply select check for firmware updates and you'll be able to download the firmware update from there. As always, the downloading and installing of firmware updates can take a little bit of time. That's why I do recommend having a good battery charge on all of the devices here. And it's quite normal for your drone to get quite warm during this process because it's probably gonna be indoors and with it not being flown, it's not getting much cooling. So once you've done the update, I recommend just waiting a little bit for the drone to cool down once it's been powered off before taking it out for the next flight. So thank you for checking out the tutorial. I hope you're enjoying flying with your Avata too. I certainly am, and I'll catch you in the next one.